Hi, hi, I'm Alina at um, Anschutz Medical uh, Campus uh, from UCD and we are going to split some cells today. Um, we have to wear gloves, lab coat, glasses. Um, you want to prepare everything first. Um, you want to sterilize your workspace, work in a hood, um, get everything prepared. You're going to need the flask with the cells you're going to split, a new flask you're going to put your cells into, um, Eagles and Medium, Tripsin, a waste container, automated pipette, and an alcohol uh, spray bottle um, to sanitize everything. So let's get started. I have already sanitized everything inside. Everything is in. Make sure you leave space in the middle for the air supply to work and um, so you don't contaminate anything. Um, gonna, all right, so first you're going to take the media, um, the, the cells that you are going to split, and you're going to dump out all the media in it and make sure you do it with the actual cells at the top so you don't get rid of any of the cells um, and just dump it out carefully and make sure you get it all out from the sides just get as much as you can out and then you are going to get a 5ml pipette And you are going to um, rinse uh, the cells with the pipette and some new medium. Make sure you don't touch the pipette with your uh, hands if you can avoid it. Just toss that. Don't lose track of your cells. All right. So just make sure you get the entire surface as much as you can. All right. Get rid of the pipette and the biohazard. You can close it. And then you're going to kind of swirl it around so you get everything. And then you're going to dump it out again. Remember with the media at the top, or with the cells at the top, so you don't get rid of those. And now we're going to move on to the trypsin. You're going to add about three mLs of the trypsin, which is right here. So you can grab another, I guess you could use ten, doesn't really matter. Again, remember not to touch the pipette. So if you're using the 10, you're just going to go up to about 7 ml. Try again to get the entire surface of the growing culture.
give it a swish. The trypsin is going to um, detach the cells from the surface of the um, flask and then we're going to incubate it for about three minutes in the fridge. Just explain really quick about the ratios. Um, cells grow at different rates, so um, the ratio depends upon how fast a cell grows. If a cell grows too fast, then you want to increase the ratio, so go from like a 1 to 4 to a 1 to 6 or whatever. Um, or if it goes, you know, too slow, you can decrease it and do 1 to 2. Um, always check with your um, PI, depending on their um, lab protocols. Uh, make sure you label everything. Label the new flask, what it is, what generation it is, um, and then also put it on the calendar so you remember when you split it so you can track the progress. Okay? Alrighty, so while those cells are incubating in the trypsin, you can prepare your new flask. Um, you want to put about 20 to 30 ml of the new media in there, get the trypsin out of the way. So you want to use a bigger pipette. Um, this one is a 25 ml pipette. Um, again, remember, don't touch it with your hands. Open up the new media, the new bottle. Don't place the lids facing down, put them facing up so you don't contaminate anything just in case. I'm going to do about, I'm going to go all the way to the top, go to 25. Get it into the new container. Get rid of this and the biohazard. Close everything up. And our cells should be done incubating in a few. Alrighty, so after about three minutes, um, you're going to take a look at your cells. And by the way, this is an incubator, not a fridge. And try not to tilt it so it stays on the growing side. Just take a look. Uh, make sure all the cells are kind of gone. Nothing else is on there. You'll see it as red dots. You see they're moving down. So we're going to go back under the hood. We want to sterilize it again because we're taking it back in there. Alright. So we are going to add 9 ml of media to make a total of 12. So we started with 3, 9, 12. Don't touch this, your hands. Done with the media. Add it into the um, cells that you're splitting with the trypsin shot and get the whole entire surface again. Alright. And then get in your pipette. And we're going to um, suck up six, or uh, sorry, two mLs to make a one to six ratio. So two taken out of 12 is um, one to six.
close this guy. This is waste now. We don't need it anymore. But I'm going to take care of it later. Add it to the new guy. And you can swish it up and down a little bit. Get rid of this in the biohazard. Alright, and we want it growing again on the slanted side. Make sure you take it out. We're going to label it, like I said previously, this is, I think, a P20 generation. We should have labels nearby. But they can go back into the incubator. We're going to check them tomorrow, see how they're doing. And then get another label. Right. Vero. P20, 1 to 6, so what you just wrote, and put it on your calendar. Um, your initials are good too, because you're probably not the only one splitting. So, same on the bottle. I'll do that in just a sec. You guys are good to go.